In the 2022.3 version of SA, we've changed the way that SA handles and visualizes point uncertainties from a single instrument station. So let's take a look at that. If I were to look at a particular instrument's properties, we have uncertainty values. And these uncertainty values can be used to simulate potential measurements based upon where a single point is in space. So if I were to look at this particular point and go in here to its properties and compute its uncertainty, you would then see that a little cloud is created of where that point could be in space. And this is clearly long and thin because a total station is much more accurate in angular measurement than in distance measurement. And this is, of course, magnified by quite a bit. But if we compare that to a measurement taken by a laser tracker, let's do the same thing. We go in here to the properties of the point and compute it with using a thousand samples. You can see that now there is a little point cloud of a thousand little points all around where that point is in space. And these are potential locations for the, the actual point um, based upon a measurement. Now, in this new version, we've done something different. Rather than just simply relying on USMN, which uses this um, simulation uh, process and this point uncertainty cloud process to do its analysis, we have built a new approach called the Uncertainty Context Manager, which uses covariance analysis. And this is a mathematical approach to uncertainty that does not require a simulation process or necessitates the ability to collect these large these uncertainty clouds. Instead, what we have, if you go into the details, is a covariance matrix. This covariance matrix can then be used mathematically to solve the position of a point. So if we're not saving a point cloud, which actually saves space in the job, um, we need another way to visualize the uncertainty of a point. And the way that we do that now is to use ellipsoids. So if you go to the user options, under analysis, there's an option to draw an ellipsoid and use that for visualization instead of, and see that a little bit better if I make it solid, there's the point and there is the ellipsoid. And that is the uh, ellipsoid that encompasses or encircles the uncertainty data. So these are the uncertainties for the individual points displayed as ellipsoids. And if I were to compute a USMN composite now, and this is kind of a fun example, we have a series of instruments. One measures these three points. We have a second one that then ties into it. And then a third one ties into the second station. And if you look at the composite network solution, you'll see that the uncertainties grow as you work your way out the network. So in here you have tracker measurement and a long thin total station measurement and that's used to locate the position of this instrument and then its position uncertainty is added to the measurements and then this one bucks into it and as a result you get a much larger Easter egg and as you can see here the uncertainty in position of this particular network composite point is quite a bit larger than the individual measurement and that's because the individual measurement from that one station is ignoring the alignment error. So what you get by using a network solution is to actually understand the contributing factors. And if I were to take one more shot from this instrument back to the total station, it would dramatically improve the accuracy of this network solution. And that's the sort of information that's important to be gained from your network alignment. So. Those are just a couple of things that were added in the 2022.3 version of SA.